Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here, back with another Let's Play. And, uh, I was really, really torn on this game. Um, you guys know what it is, it's Grandy 2, because of the title of the video, and, you know, it's Grandy 2, but I was torn between this game and Final Fantasy IX. I was so torn with it that I didn't know what I actually wanted to do. So I went to Twitter, and I went to Facebook, and I was asking people, like, hey, what should I play? And after a ridiculously close voting... <laughs> Uh, neck and neck, Grandia 2 eked out ahead just a little bit. So we're going to start with Grandia 2. Uh, game uh, two, came out 2000 uh, by Game Arts for the Dreamcast. It was later ported to PS2 and the PC. It's widely believed that the uh, the Dreamcast version is the superior version. I kind of agree with that. I kind of believe that. Uh, and it has been forever since I've played this game. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an adventure. So um, the game does have voice acting uh, for sections of the game. Uh, you know, early two thousands voice acting. So it was starting to get good. It's still a little little cheesy at points, but uh, starts off with an FMV sequence that gives a little bit of background. Uh, in terms of the game, uh, the game world setting, everything was peaceful, and then, you know, uh, bad things happened, <laughs> uh, and, and now we, we live in the, the post-bad things happen world. So, general story is you have the armies of light and darkness, uh, the armies of light led by the, the god, uh, Granus, and the, the armies of darkness led by uh, Valmar, light and dark represented. You see drawings of them there. Um, interesting depictions of their symbol symbology there. The, the gold for Grannis, the red for Valmar. Uh, it, it's, you know, one of those... Grannis was able to defeat Valmar, but by sacrificing himself. And Valmar was you know, cast away, but not destroyed, and the th his threat ever looms, that sort of thing, and their battle actually cracked the Earth. Like, literally, there's a giant crack running along the planet now. It's, it's impressive. So, um, all of this kind of plays out in a, you know, kind of cliche JRPG, but there are a lot of things about this that break the cliches, so that's one of the reasons why I'm really excited to be playing this, is because it, it has a really good story. So. And, you know, nice rendered scenes, you know, this is all in-game, and at the time this was just mind-blowing that this is how they were doing the games. Now, the, the graphics really aren't too much a step up of something like Evolution, which is probably the first RPG that came out of the Dreamcast, and, you know, I'm gonna say a terrible RPG, but, like, it, it was cute for the time, but it, it still wasn't... It, it, it did not live up to other JRPGs, so... But, it's actually fairly simplistic, but detailed enough to where you can get a feel for everything, what everything's supposed to be, so... I think you can see these four or five people here are, you know, obviously somewhat important. They were being seen off by a group of people. And we have a bird carrying bombs. Those are bombs. Those are bombs. Uh, I say this because one of the few videos I've seen on, especially comparing the opening between Grandia 2 on the Dreamcast and PS2, um, was people saying, why is the bird carrying anal beads? That's not what the bird's carrying. We, here we have the main character, dangling, me down, Sky. with his voice acting, and some, you know, lizard people. I like the teeny tiny wings on their backs, those are, those are adorable. I don't know why any creature would have teeny tiny wings like that coming off their backs. 
So, as we see here, the bird, Sky, was a distraction for the main character to infiltrate the 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 lair of the lizard people, I guess, and recover a blue orb. However, wasn't distracting enough apparently. And those Sky, over here! Those those lizard men had pretty good aim to throw spears and they hadn't even left the tree line yet. However, we can fly away on our bird, who apparently is Super Bird. Ryudo, I cannot take much more of this. And can talk. Belly aching and fly, damn it! Whoa! All right, so the bird can't really carry us. It's you know, for short distances, not you know, super strong magic talking bird. Just magic talking bird. Cause that's I finished the job, didn't I? And now we learn a little bit about the main character. Just a little, though. Just, you know, rough idea. Yes, in your own crude fashion. Here, take your money. Father, don't be rude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't bother, I'm used to it. I won't have you speaking to his kind. Come, we're leaving. I cannot stand him. What a pompous fool. It's work, not a barrel of laughs. Well, well, you're growing up, Ryudo. Ugh, if it weren't for work, I'd have nothing to do with that guy. But business is business. She was a fine-looking girl, though. I don't care for her or the kindness of strangers. So, we learned that he's a mercenary, um, and his mer this type of mercenary is not looked well upon in the world, which is funny considering the guy was hiring the mercenary to do work, but yet he's berating the mercenary. It's just one of those derp kind of things. This mercenary has a specific name, too. So. What is it, Sky? Ryudo. Looks like we have another job. Not already. I'm still sore from that fall. No thanks to you. Ouch! Okay, okay! Sky, all right already! It's good to have work, right? <sighs> it says the Church of Granis wants to hire you as a bodyguard. So, working for Granis, huh? Now I really don't want to do it. A job's a job, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. That's what it means to be a Geohound. And name drop. Geohounds are the names of the mercenaries that no one seems to take, you know, any respect to, which is ridiculous considering we're going to hire this mercenary and then we're going to talk crap about them. All right, so now we have control of the, the character in the world. So... Um, as you can see, we've got a little, uh, compass that gives us a direction. We've got some items that we can look for, which I'm gonna find everything. I'm actually using a, a paper guide for this. That, that should tell you. Just... Alright, so... That was one thing. I'm gonna back up here. So yeah, we've got, you know, Geohound. Alright, there's the water. I don't want the water, I want what's over here. Wound salve. Uh, as you can see, certain types of terrain will actually slow, you know, your your walking speed. A lot of things to note here. Uh, war this is basically your uh, dungeon and field map type areas. 
This is a save point, which I'm not going to be worrying about now. Uh, action sequence, basically. You can go up ladders, climb poles, slide down things. It's, it's interesting. Alright, so we also get a blizzard charm. First accessory. Haven't even really gotten into combat yet, but I think that'll change right here. So let's get into a fight. Because I love the combat system in this game. You have the initiative. Alright, so you have the little weight bar on the bottom that you can see our uh, icon that's flashing. And then above that is a little bug icon. That's the enemy. So everything that goes from weight to calm, that's your weight meter. Once it hits calm is when we can issue a command. And then, depending on the command we issue, it will go through the act phase, which is the red bar. And certain actions go through faster than others. Um, and the system that we've got, we have a bunch of different abilities. We can just do a combo, which is your standard attack. Critical attack, which does less damage, but will uh, send back the enemy marker on the weight meter, or completely cancel out their actions. Items, moves, magic, escape, defend, evade, or change the AI. So what we're going to do is we are going to start off with critical. Because by the time it acts, it'll push it back a little bit. So it's going to come over to us and not going to get the ability to attack quickly. I was hoping to get the attack in fast enough to counter it. Practice if you want to beat me. But combat is free flowing like that, and it's 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 very much reliant on strategy. And a wound cell of hand grenade and a Yomi's elixir from there, and another enemy pops out. We're going to attack him. If the enemy charges you while it's red. Uh, it can it can get the initiative, or uh, it comes off as a, a standard ability like this. Um, the action that you see, web trap, that's what it's going to do to us. So you can see what enemies are going to do what to try to stop them. So I'm going to do this. And... Because it was in the middle of the action, it sent the action farther back. So, uh, let's do a regular combo, and that should kill it. And we get the counter, which gives us a little bit more damage. <laughs> These guys were no real challenge. So yeah, it's it's an interesting combat system. I love the combat system of this game. It's just it's different. It's unique. Uh, one thing to note about the field, there's a green uh, circle in the compass that as you get to your objective, it will shrink, telling you that you are going the right direction. Uh, sometimes it doesn't give you the objective that you want to go for, but it, the one that it thinks you should be going for. So, keep that in mind. We come to the village, and we see the young ladies who are in the opening sequence. It's one of those, yeah, they're, they're ladies. They haven't really identified themselves, but... Getting used to the, uh... The character designs of this game takes a little bit. All the preparations for the ceremony. What ceremony? We have to get going. Alright, so they're going to a ceremony, and then one is being left behind for now. It's... It's one of those things like, why are we seeing this? And this is when we've hired a bodyguard. So... Yeah, there's a lot of things about this game that are just like... Why did that happen? Okay, sure. We'll go with it. But it is such a fantastic game. 
Thank you for all your hard work. The sisters are sisters from the church, obviously. I love how no one questions the talking bird, too. I love that that's a, a standard thing in this world. Are they collecting tithes? There's enough. What do they do? Storm through your door and beat charity out of you? I love that. <laughs> the militant wing of the Salvation Army. They're under... S They're going to a tower outside the village to drive away evil spirits. Okay. Good for you. So they're, they're combat nuns. A scary concept in, in and of itself, but... And apparently at night, monsters come out, so... The girl who stayed behind is Miss Elena. Songstress of Grannis. Uh, yeah, we're not around here. Don't venture out Okay. Okay, so... That's all there is to that. We can go over here, and we're going to go find out why they hired us, and what's going on. Maybe it's the songstress. It is, in fact, the songstress. And another one of the moments of this game just has fantastic music. The second we enter in, it's like... And the, the great thing about the Dreamcast version is it came with a CD of some of the songs from the soundtrack, so... So worth it. One of the best purchases I made on the Dreamcast. So just listen. What's the matter? Is that all? Who said that? Don't mind me. Continue. Were you listening to my singing? Come on, if you're that tense, you won't be able to perform at all. Who are you? I haven't seen you around. What are you doing here? Whoa, now. What am I doing here? You're the one who hired me. I... Hired you? I, I, I do not remember anything of the sort. You look awfully suspicious. Leave right now, or I'll scream. <laughs> Are you for real? Oh, wait a sec. I bet no one told you. Elena, is something the matter? Ah, you must be the Geohound, yes? We've been waiting for you. A G Geohound? Hey, I'm Ryudo. This here's Sky. Quite a warm welcome for someone you're hiring. What? Why are you being so rude? Elena, please excuse her. Allow me to apologize on her behalf. Elena, you must get ready to leave. Uh, yes, Father. I'm very sorry for interfering. Please excuse me. Excuses in women are equally tiring. <clears throat> uh, this is not the place. May I ask you to wait at the inn? I shall be along shortly. Okay, so we get to go wait at the inn and find out why we're being hired by the Church of Grannis, and why the person that it seems like we're going to be bodyguarding doesn't even know that we're going to be bodyguarding. So uh, I'm going to end this episode here, and we'll go to the inn and find out uh, what's going on in the next installment. So till then, later everyone.